Time to open a new set of battery cells and see what we have. Hey folks, my name is Nigel and this is Off Grid Van Life. From time to time we find battery cells, usually lithium ion phosphate battery cells on AliExpress or Alibaba or something. And we just like the look of them or it looks like a deal that's too good to be true or whatever the case is. And usually it is a deal that's too good to be true. Uh, but in this case, I came across these cells and I quite like the look of them. So I thought, well, I'm going to get a set of them, have a stab, see how they test, whether they pull capacity uh, and just see what they look like. So let's open this up and get into it. So straight off the bat, I am very impressed with the um, bus bars that they've given us. So these are very similar to the bus bars that I got with the Winston cells that I use in my van. Um, and they basically sort of these layered bus bars. So it's multiple pieces of copper um, in a layer. So there's five, five copper sheets here. So it gives you a very good cross section in terms of uh, your, um, to your uh, bus bar, the connection. Um, but it's, it is also flexible. So you can see even all four of these bus bars, I can flex them, which is quite nice. So as the cell sort of expands and contracts, even if it's just a few millimeters as it uh, charges and discharges, um, these are very good. And then some your standard uh, eight mil bolts for those, which is looking good. All right, and here we go. So one of the thing that attracted me to these cells is the fact that they look very much like Winston uh, battery cells. So uh, in my camper, I have a set of Winston, which are obviously yellow, but the same sort of plastic uh, cell. And uh, I do quite like the look of these. And when I saw these, they were considerably less than the Winston. So I thought, well, I'm gonna get a set and uh, see, see what they do. So when you are unpacking lithium ion phosphate cells like these, uh, obviously you want to give them a good look to make sure that they are all in decent condition. But uh, as you're taking them out the box, you just need to be careful and make sure that the, none of the cells have, um, have uh, leaked anything. And if they have, you need to be quite careful with that. Make sure you don't get that on your skin. So these cells are advertised as 200 amp hours and overall they look pretty good uh, to me just at first glance. So they um, obviously very similar looking to the Winston cells like I have in my camper. Uh, but yeah, overall pretty pleased with how they look. Um, although interestingly, a couple of these look like they have heli coils in them. In fact, all of the negative terminals all look like they have heli coils. So uh, I wonder if they were maybe 10 mil threads that were stripped and then they put a heli coil in or, or and or they were just stripped 8 mil and then they drilled it out to put a heli coil. But these negative terminals definitely have helicoils in them. I can see that. Sorry, the positives, not the negatives. These threads seem to go in all right. So yeah. Look all right. So uh, yeah, we're gonna set these up to top balance and then uh, run a capacity test and see how we get on. So we'll, I'm gonna tape them up in the usual way, configuring them uh, in series as if we're gonna build the battery out. And then we'll uh, connect it up using some wires like we usually do. So we'll get that in place here. Thank you. 
All right, we've got this thing wired up in parallel. Obviously the cells are positioned in series, but I've just used uh, just standard wire that I had here in the workshop just to connect these up in parallel so I can then chuck a charger uh, onto the cells and let it top balance. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now that the battery cells are fully top balanced, we are gonna get the capacity testers on them. I'm gonna put one capacity tester onto each battery cell. I'm gonna get that cranking and leave that for however long it's gonna take, probably the best part of a day or so to run all of the cells down so that we can get the tests and see how these cells did. They top balanced very fast, actually much faster than I was expecting, literally within a day or so, which is very fast considering that this charger, this normal desktop uh, power supply, usually only outputs like five amps or thereabouts. So I would expect it to take four or five, maybe even a week to charge up a set of 200 amp power cells. So the fact that they have top balanced them within a day or two, um, I'm a little bit skeptical. We'll see what the results say, but let's get the top, the capacity testers on there. We'll crank the cells down and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we have it charge to 3.65 volts top balance no amperage going out of the charger anymore and we can see here the battery cells are connected in parallel so positives all the way across there and negatives the same like that and then we've got the positive and negative wire from the charger going they are top balance to 3.65 volts i'm just going to do a quick check here to make sure that each cell is 3.65 volts so obviously this is going to be a reverse polarity, but it's easier just to do this with one hand like that. So 3.65 or 3.66, and pretty much the same, 3.65, what's this one? Three point six six and three point six five. So yeah, all pretty much on it. Okay, here we go. So I have each of these capacity testers connected up to their corresponding cell, all of them plugged in there. So we have 3.62, 3.64, 3.62 and 3.62. So everything's connected up there. These are just M6 uh, lugs that I've just put on the side of the terminal there and then tightened down because the bolts and the thread uh, terminals on these cells are M8, I didn't feel like making up new cables, but there's enough contact there. They're gonna draw very uh, small amperage, so happy with that. So now I am going to shift that over and get this thing uh, quickly before. You can see from the previous test there that I have 183 or 184 amp hours. That was meant to be a 200 amp hour battery cell as well. So I'm just gonna reset all of these. And so if we go through and do it on each of them, so it zeroes it. <coughs> Cables everywhere here. All right, there we go. So these uh, are set to turn off at a low voltage uh, disconnect of 2.5 volts. So under draw and with the voltage drop on the cables, that will mean that when the cells then settle, they'll be around about three amps, sorry, three volts. Um, and so it'll pretty much, it should give us the a good, a good uh, reading. So we're gonna get these things winding now. Obviously we'll see the voltage drop as load is placed on the battery. Gonna get this up to probably about 12 amps. There we go. And the same on this one. And same on this one.
and there we go so all of these run about 12 amps and uh, obviously we've seen some voltage drop which is to be expected and we can see here it started clocking up the amp hours there so 0.18 of an amp hour on that so looking pretty good we leave that for a few hours a couple of days probably it'll take if they pull capacity and we'll see how these cells get on i'll keep you guys posted okay so here we go everything's still connected let's see what we got to here so 161 amps amp hours on that one turn the dials down otherwise they'll start trying to test some more 163 and let's see this one here 155 and then finally this one over here 163 well folks there we have it these are advertised at 200 amp hours look too good to be true and they were too good to be true so yeah uh <laughs> just goes to show that uh so many of the listings on AliExpress, Alibaba are just for garbage. Um, so yeah, I mean, they looked reasonable. The seller looked reasonable. I'm happy to link the uh, um, seller down in the description below. Would not recommend that you buy these. Uh, there are much better options. For that matter, Winston sells in general. I think there's much better value for money than what you get from Winston. I'm running a set of Winston in my camper van uh, and mainly it was just done to test them to see how good they actually were uh, and from uh, I'm also running in parallel another set so actually Ketel cells to test those and as you may know we stock Eve cells on our website and those are our preferred brand uh, but we do test other cells from time to time and especially when we see a screaming deal that looks awesome like these did um we test those too so yeah there we go so now i'm going to start the arbitration process with the seller to see if i can get some money back they will probably want the cells shipped back to china which inevitably is what uh kills um the whole transaction because what happens is you buy the cells for say five hundred dollars or whatever six hundred eight hundred dollars thereabouts you get them they turn out to be duds they are pulling sort of 85 percent capacity like these ones are and uh, you go into the arbitration process and aliexpress or alibaba generally speaking and they know this as well that it completely screws us over here they know that when they say to you okay no problem we will authorize a refund provided that you send the product back cost you like 150 dollars or 120 pounds to ship these back to china in which case it's almost worth keeping them even though they aren't pulling capacity because of how much money you'll lose just sending them back to china so we've had that time and time again it's an age-old thing so the sellers in china definitely know all about that and it's one of the tactics for getting money uh, out of you so yeah there we go would not recommend these don't buy these i will link the seller in the description because i know i'll get comments asking to name and shame them but yeah don't go buying these hopefully you've enjoyed the video we'll see you guys in the next one cheers